Look to our precious Jesus today who saves, heals, delivers, prospers, and blesses. This is your day for a miracle. Jesus is going to come right to where you are. Jesus akan mendatangi saudara di mana pun saudara berada. And he will touch you. Dan dia akan mencama saudara. And he will heal you. Dan dia akan menyembuhkan saudara. You are not leaving the same person you came. Pastor Benny Hinn's miracle services in Papua, Indonesia, just a few days ago, were nothing short of amazing. Huge crowds, remarkable healing testimonies, and packed altar calls for salvation marked an event called the largest gathering in Indonesia history by the local media. Jesus! Jesus! I give you my life! I give you my life! The anointing is so strong! For additional videos, photos, and reports from Papua, Indonesia, please visit the ministry website and stay tuned for much more from these historic services coming soon on This Is Your Day. The Bible declares the Spirit of the Lord came upon the apostles and the saints of old, and they prophesied. Prophecy today is needed. With me is a young man named Brian Carnes. I've just met him. Quite amazing. Very accurate. I've been trying to find out more about him, and he was just telling me that he came to one of my meetings in Lakeland years ago. How old were you then? Uh, I don't know, 2001, maybe 12, 13, 14, somewhere around there. You're 20... 27. 27. Yeah. I saw this young man prophesy over people a few days ago. No way you would have known anything about them. The man who wrote Holy Ground, you prophesied over him. One of my friends, close friends, who's a pastor from Alabama. You were so right.
want you to fight, Michael. What's your name? Michael. Lift your hands. The Holy Ghost is breaking a stronghold off of your life because your heart is ever so pure before him and your desire is to please him. When I just touched you, the Lord said, tell, look like I heard Janet. What's your name? Janet. Lift your hands. T tell Janet I have not forgotten about her. Tell her that this is a season of great reward. And everything that you've done for your family in secret, he's rewarding you openly. And I see a major contract that shall come before you. I see this contract and I'm looking at a man. Whoever this man is, you are known because his name will be Michael. God's going to give you favor with a man named Michael. And don't forget the name Roger. And this man, Michael is going to have the connection for the next for for the next door and the next season of your ministry of your life the spirit of the lord will say to you that you said lord looks like i keep walking into a wall looks like something keeps stopping me and blocking me and hindering me from getting to this next level but the spirit of the lord said this is the key to your next place for yes you feel as if you are in a bottle and there's a lid on it and you've topped out but the spirit of god said i'm removing that lid there's a great anointing on him Hallelujah. she just met the man named dan michael roger no she just met him yesterday the lord's healing your body you recently received a bad report, and the Spirit of God says, I'm giving you a miracle. Whatever report you've recently received from the doctor, the Spirit of the Lord will say to you, do not fear cancer, do not fear sugar, whatever it is. Don't fear nothing. Whatever, I, I, I see there is a stronghold that fights all the women in your family where they suffer from a certain condition. But the Spirit of the Lord said, that condition will have no place in your life this day. All right, you're healed. All right, take it. God bless. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She got it. I hear the name Queenie. 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 I'm coming right back. The Lord just interrupted your prophecy. Okay. Come here. Stop right there. Where you from? You're Chinese. Uh, where were you born? Lift your hand. Uh, Cheong. 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 What's that? That's your last name. Okay, lift your hand. I got the right person. I just had to check. <laughs> lift your hand. You know, you can't guess them names. God got to give you them names. <laughs> you know, you could guess Mary, Diane. You can't guess Queenie. <laughs> lift your hands. There's a major business venture. That is getting ready to open unto you. I see you receiving a phone call. Mm. I'm prophesying today, y'all. I feel it. I see you receiving a major phone call. The last four digits are 9865. Huh? That's my phone call. That's your? My, my cell phone number. That's your cell phone number. Yes. Lift your hands. In no way he would have known all this information unless the Lord showed him that. That was really quite powerful. I want you to release the prophetic on the people today and then talk to them. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. I give you praise for supernatural grace. Cause their eyes to come open. You, Father, there are those listening to me who have gifts of prophecy, word of knowledge, word of wisdom that are dormant in their bellies. But Father, in Jesus' name, I stir those gifts up and declare that they will not be ignorant of Satan's devices, but you're giving them ears to hear and eyes to see what the Spirit is saying to the church. I stir up that prophetic anointing Amen, in you Lord. and command you to come forth in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All yours. I, I, I believe right now that this one word in your life is getting ready to cause your life to change. What is that one word? Are you ready? Here's the word. Whatever you've been in before you watch this program, because you came in contact with a prophet, according to Hosea chapter 12, verse 13, 
By a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet was he preserved. When God got ready to lead his people, he raised up Moses. When God got ready to feed his people, he raised up Joseph. When God got ready to restore Israel, he raised up Nehemiah. When God got ready to weep, he raised up Jeremiah. When God got ready to prophesy of his coming, he raised up Isaiah. When God got ready to bring you up, he raised up Brian Carn. I've been sent by the Holy Ghost to pull you out of whatever you've been in. And one word from a prophet can cause your life to change. I want to speak that word to you now and declare that whatever you're in right now, whatever you're facing, whatever's coming against you, whatever's tormenting you, whatever's blocking you, there's a lawyer watching me right now. You have a practice that has been on hold. I come to speak a word and declare into your life that whatever's been on hold today, that yoke is destroyed. There's another woman watching me. You have a beauty salon and seem like nothing will break, nothing will change, nothing will shift. There's an unusual anointing right now for business, for entrepreneurs, for you that are listening. You're not watching this by accident. You're watching this because you're on the mind of God. And Jeremiah 29, 11 declares that I know my thoughts that I think towards you. Their thoughts of peace and not of evil. It's to give you an expected end. That's why you're watching. You're watching because God is concerned about your personal situation. From Genesis to Revelation, when God got ready to bring his people out, he raised up a prophet. But here's the key. The key to the blessing is following instructions. One instruction can change your life. One instruction can cause your life to never, ever, ever be the same again. Remember that widow woman? She obeyed the prophet and her river never ran dry. That other woman obeyed the prophet, went and borrowed vessels. Do you know that was crazy? She was already in debt and he told her to get in more debt, go borrow vessels. Any accountant would have told you if you're in debt, you don't keep borrowing. But God gets the glory when your credit card is maxed out, your account is in the negative, and there's no other way he's going to come out. That's when God steps on the scene. So your situation is there now. Nobody but God can bring you out. That's what he's been waiting on. He doesn't share his glory. He wants your situation to get to a place where only he can bring you out. You know, when you look at the woman, at the way, that, that woman who cried, catch this, she caught her tears with tear bottles. I studied that. The woman who the Bible says she washed his feet with her hand, washed his feet with her tears and dried it with her hair. You know, I thought that she just went in there and started crying. But I looked at something that said that at that time they carried tear bottles. And what they would do is they would catch their tears and put it in a bottle. If they had tears of heartbreak, tears of grief, tears of pain, tears of disappointment, they would catch those tears. Watch this. Mary's tear bottle filled up, and then she met Jesus. Right now, your tear bottle is filled up, and now you're going to have an encounter with Jesus. You're going to lay your tears at the feet of Jesus. You're laying your problems at Jesus' feet. One word from God is getting ready to cause your life to change. Pastor, I, I feel an instruction that God is telling me to give the people. Do you mind if I please, tell Please, please go ahead. I believe right now, you know, I studied something that said that any synagogue is completely debt free. Every synagogue is completely debt free. That they don't even take up the offerings in the service. That they raise the monies, the business owners raise the monies to build the synagogues and they are completely debt free. There is somebody watching me right now. I believe there's an anointing that is being released over this airway for supernatural increase, divine increase. I'm not talking about what your job can do. Your job can't pay you the money God wants to give you. Your job was never designed to make you rich. It's designed to make your boss rich. God want to give you some money. Supernatural increase, divine increase. I'm talking about money that don't make sense. That's an anointing I feel. He wants to pull you out of that struggle. He want to pull you out of that dry place. He wants to pull you into a land not just of not enough. He wants to bring you out of the land of not enough into the land of more than enough because just enough just ain't good enough. It's time for you to possess your promise. 
This is what the Spirit of God is speaking to me right now. And I believe if you honor these instructions, your life is getting ready to change. Pastor, the number 41, the number 41, the number 41 is the number of over. It's over. Jesus was in the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights. On the 41st day, it was over. Noah was on the ark for 40 days and 40 dead nights. The 41st day, it was over. The children of Israel wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. But I believe right now there's somebody watching me. Whatever you're in, God sent the prophet to declare it's over. This is what I want you to do. Do not hesitate. Don't think about it. Don't wonder. Because any time you think, you're going to miss it. John 2 and 5, whatever he tells you to do, do it. I told a woman in Washington, D.C., Bishop Alfred and Susie Orange Church, I told her, I said, who is British? She said, I'm Bridget. I said, give me $100. She said, why? I said, God's going to give you 100000 She said, when? I said, tomorrow. She walked in that church with $113,000 the very next day. I want to speak over your life right now that whatever you're in is getting ready to break. This is what I want you to do. There's a number on your screen. Don't hesitate. Right now, while the anointing is flowing, I want you to get a $41 seat in your hand, 141. There are 20 people you are to give 1,041. Don't hesitate. Somebody said, is it me he's talking to? Yep. Let him call my name. Nope. Only a wicked and perverse generation seeketh after a sign. Trust him. You only have one moment to trust him. Don't miss your hour of visitation. So that $41 seed, because I prophesy and declare that whatever you are dealing with now, it's over by the word of a prophet. I really feel the anointing with you. Hallelujah. Thank God for his mercy. Well, call Thank the number Jesus. on the screen and obey the Lord. Just do Glory. it now and watch what God will Hallelujah. do with you. I really feel the Spirit of God here. Thank you, Jesus. Release that anointing on the people. For Father, the in the name of Jesus, I thank you yes, for Lord. supernatural increase. Yes, Lord. I thank you that the blessing of God is running them down and overtaking them. Amen, Lord. God, that word overtake, I like to say the blessing is going to hijack them. Father, hijack them with blessings right now. Amen. Cause there to be a supernatural takeover and bless them and cause reports to come in. 24 hour turnarounds. In Jesus name, amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Do it now and Hallelujah. rejoice in what the Lord will Hallelujah. do. I'll see you again. Keep calling. Bye-bye. Are you overwhelmed by financial challenges? Are they affecting your health, emotions, and family? Are you battling stress, worry, and hopelessness? A change is coming. Pastor Benny Hinn has designated Monday, September 1st as a powerful day of prayer for debt cancellation. He will be joined by anointed guests and effective intercessors in agreement for supernatural debt cancellation, wealth transfer, and financial freedom. As a point of contact, write to Pastor Benny today with your prayer requests for the specific miracles you need and sow a seed to activate your harvests of abundance, no more lack, and no more losses. Act now to ensure that Pastor Benny receives your letter before September 1st and join him on that day in prayer for the amazing miracles God has for you. Don't delay. Mail your prayer requests and seed gift today. to our precious Jesus today who saves, heals, delivers, prospers, and blesses. This is your day for a miracle. Jesus is going to come right to where you are. Jesus akan mendatangi saudara di mana pun saudara berada. And he will touch you. Dan dia akan mencamah saudara. And he will heal you. Dan dia akan menyembuhkan saudara. You are not leaving the same place. Holy ground, you prophesied over him. One of my friends, close friends, was a pastor from Alabama. You were so right.
Canada, in Africa, in, Europa, in South Africa, America, in America and around the world. You want the anointing? Right now? Take it! Take it! Take it! For additional videos, photos, and reports from Papua, Indonesia, please visit the ministry website and stay tuned for much more from these historic services coming soon on This Is Your Day. The Bible declares the Spirit of the Lord came upon the apostles and the saints of old. Person, you came. Pastor Benny Hinn's miracle services in Papua, Indonesia, just a few days ago, were nothing short of amazing. Huge crowds, remarkable healing testimonies, and packed altar calls for salvation marked an event called the largest gathering in Indonesia history by the local media. Jesus! Jesus! I give you my life! The anointing is so strong. I give it over my body right now, and I pray God will do the same in America, in Canada, in Europe. And they prophesied. Prophecy today is needed. With me is a young man named Brian Carnes. I've just met him. Quite amazing, very accurate. I've been trying to find out more about him, and he was just telling me that. He came to one of my meetings in Lakeland years ago. How old were you then? Uh, I don't know, 2001, maybe 12, 13, 14, somewhere around there. You're 20... 27. 27. Yeah. I saw this young man prophesy over people a few days ago. No way you would have known anything about them. The man who wrote 